Yes, sir. We are back, y'all. We are back with another freaking this video. Video. This time up, man, we got Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Blur, 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 blur. What y'all say about that? Blur, <laughs> blur, blur. Get you. Just kidding. We burr. Burr. Um, no reason to hit a woman. How women are you? It says fool from you people are, are all, all the, the same. same. Okay. How That's argue. a big How title. How we argue, honey? Like this? <laughs> That's how I look in a man eyes. <laughs> That's funny. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers. <laughs> Damn. Right. Didn't dry the can <laughs> it's not okay. No boat. It's gonna it's fucking rust, okay. right? <laughs> How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching. For, oh, fuck. Ah, now I get it. Up to Daisy. <laughs> No reason to hit a woman. There's no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. Facts. Oh, you wake me from you a drunken you stupor you do and it. still give you like nine? Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. Right. Keep your hands to yourself. And suggest mm -hmm. that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. Say that. With the reason, Are you levitating yeah. above the rest of us? You're never annoying? Mm -mm. We're never annoying. Wait a minute, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, right? You no said reason. everything. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You gotta move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's gonna stay in. That's no messed reason. up. <laughs> messed up. I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons <laughs> in that arc of a story. That might be a reason. No, I'm just kidding. All right, that was a hypothetical. Yeah, I was gonna say. Super hype. That was like way you want an actual I mean, story? I'm I'll give you one. I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figured that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figured this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? <laughs> this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I played for like an hour, and afterwards I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Mm -hmm. Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. Like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off be fine right that is a man Next thing I wake up my foot's even worse and i gotta walk my crazy dog <laughs> so i'm like i can't do it my foot's killing me so i wake up my girl go sweetheart sweetheart can you do me a favor can you do me a favor can, can you walk the dog for me can you uh just take the shift you know i'll do your afternoon shift can you just do me this song we can do this for me and she's just like oh you know i had a late late night last night i'm tired i have a big day and i just go fuck it <laughs> <laughs> she goes what do you mean fuck it it's like why can't you just say no okay. why are you always gonna like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation <laughs> that eventually lands its way around to go fuck yourself just say no i'm just limping out of the room whatever go oh, back to bed thing. you got a big day right <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> 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 I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish. You know, I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in. You just can do whatever the hell you want to do, right? And fuck me. Fine. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> My whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I got to tell you something. Work like a charm. Work like a charm. Yeah. Hung my coat up. Turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. 
but the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song. That I was <laughs> oh, one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, now, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poof, and slaps the headphones off my head. <laughs> oh, yeah. It fucking hurts. That's what you do. I'm like, honey, leave me alone. And, and I, you do, if you girl. ever have somebody in something... <laughs> If you ever have somebody knock something off your head, you know how stupid it looks? Because you know what? You know what? Let me tell you, look. Because you know what? Because when it knock off, it kind of be like. <laughs> yeah. It don't laugh, and, and, right? and it look, and it looks, it looks so oh. stupid. I think the stupidity of it is, is worse than, 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 than the feeling. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around oh. my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> and on the third time she comes up. Poof, slaps him right across the room. And I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. <laughs> She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> oh. uh, right there. I just want to roll her up sick. on a yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> <laughs> leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on. Let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Visualize that for some crazy reason. <laughs> really, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know. But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. You say there's no reason, <laughs> You cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Sure. Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> Cause he got deep. Yeah. I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Cause people True. are surface level. Why is that? What is that? What is what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special? Facts. Bill Burr, oh, do, man. do not try to try Bill Burr. He will crush your head. I just see. Oh my God. He will he crush like, Are you. Are you the idiot that got up? Oh my God. He is you like go, Bill. He is like the Tony Robbins of comedy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I will crush you. Banana hands. What does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special <laughs> during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taking a special here? What's wrong with you? Oh, oh, oh. I bet she'll shut up. Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're going to like yell out and not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, she got liquor in her system. Right then. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. You never want to be one of the comedians cracking on in the audience. Oh, my gosh. Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? You what, do. How come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? Like, how'd you get out there? How did it happen? Right. Did you not see it? <laughs> Were you fucking with it? Right. <laughs> how did this some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys. You Horrible, know, have a rough yeah. day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging. <laughs> 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 I'm not That's trying cool. to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist and they should be buried underneath the prison. Okay? Facts. Facts. So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? Yeah. 
Yeah, not everyone. Really? Though. Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you, you know? Tuna casserole. You know what it is? <laughs> just beat up on your head. It's handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail. Then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it. True. So I'm just say it. True. Just say it, dude. In your heart of hearts. What do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baxter Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. That is so true. <laughs> That's true. Well, maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Yeah. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Ooh, I mean, Ooh. or she could have been smacking him. I need a tissue. Yeah. Do you keep going? Yeah, no. Oh, my God, I'll bring my house. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is the core of a lot of that shit. Maybe. You know? And I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, <laughs> I finally figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun what are you doing, a Dale? winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. Yeah. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off road. <laughs> That's worse. Shit. It's worse. Mom, it's worse. Dad, and in their head, they just start concocting this evil That's worse. statement. Oh, totally designed this desperate Hail Mary attempt <laughs> to make you so fucking mad you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that. Well, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just <sighs> screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> <laughs> That's she horrible. Flight, I don't know what she just feels, but that's why you're just going to grow old and be alone. Then I throw them on. Like <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. <laughs> Maybe because you, you got a little dick. Just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. Says, the argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, lean on the ropes. Take the knee and run out the out. clock. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at him. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. <laughs> rub one out like a man. The champagne of victory. <laughs> okay. Wait. This is pretty good. Bill said, he said, who cares? Just going to rub one out. <laughs> But he made some very good key points here. You know, questions aren't asked, you know, when it comes to certain things. I mean, the domestic violence is horrible. It really is. All the way around. Yeah, I, I don't There's agree no, with that. There's no way to sugarcoat that is bad, period. Right. Because society, oh, you never should hit a woman, which you shouldn't. And women shouldn't hit men. It should never be... Now, if you that, have to defend yourself when the well, woman's coming different, after different you, ball game. Yeah. different ball game. Different ball game. Like somebody just hitting you square in the face with items and hard objects. Well, she might need to get laid out. Yeah, your ass on the ground. I mean, it is what like, it is. You're on the carpet at this point. Provoking. You know? I'm saying because that is beyond. Now we yeah, have a threatening, men dangerous can level. can also be abused. You For know? sure. But that, I'm, 
I like some of the questions that he was raising. I just feel like no man should be that daggone weak where you just getting your your ass whooped by your woman. No, I'm just, you but um, but that you got a, some other stuff going on in you why you don't have that. But um, and don't let that never hit a woman. You know, philosophy or ideology allow you to be abused by a woman because that's totally unacceptable. Okay. Anyway, anyway man, like always, man. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. I'll give all, you a chance. You all, no, say. like, comment, and subscribe. All which that help the channel and allow us to grow. The more we grow, the more we can bring content sooner, quicker, and won't be delayed content. You get it pretty quick. So. Why you? You don't like what I said? So, because I might want to hear it. Okay. Peace out, man. Yeah. Don't hit women. Women don't hit men. You say you want a husband, chocolate cake, you wanna be married The big old mansion on the lake of Lambo and if I carry You say you wanna be the only one, no baby mama drama No could it, but it's out of peace, other